Hey guys, welcome back to Help Tech. So in this video today, guys, I'm going to teach you on how to get a better computer uh, distractor or decompressor for files on your computer. If you ever download something, most likely the computer one will recognize it, the built-in one to Windows, Macintosh, or Linux. But the issue is, is that it may not support all of them. I've had lots of times that I get compressed files, but yet Windows will not recognize it with their decompressor, where WinWar pretty much will recognize them all. That's one of the best thing about WinWar, and the best other thing about WinWar is the fact that it basically supports every computer system, and you can even distract inside of the software and pick and choose which file you want from that point on. Again, this software is a very universal piece of software and today I'm going to teach you guys on how to get it. So you guys are going to want to migrate over to this website right here. Now this website can look a little bit taunting but it really isn't. What you guys are going to need to do is determine which version of the software you're going to need and is it a 64-bit or 32-bit computer system that you're trying to get this software onto. Now if you guys need some help in that department, I have a video already on that for Windows and there will be one coming for Linux very soon. For my computer system, I'm going 64-bit and Windows. I'm going to hit English and this will take me to the download page. Hit the download button and we'll go through the install process. Open up the installer and hit OK. You're going to basically get this installer here and just keep hitting OK and it's simply that's as easy it is to install. Alright guys, so to be able to use WinWAR, it's extremely easy to do. Now, the typical way that I use WinWAR, I will usually click on the file, it will open up WinWAR, it will say that you need to buy it, which typically you never have to anyway. And because this is a fairly big file, we're talking well over 6 gigabytes. sometimes WinWAR will struggle sometimes, but for the most part it should open right away. The way that I use WinWar, I just drag the two files, or three files, or ten files, whatever happens to be in the folder, highlight them all, and just drag it all to the desktop. Now this is going to take a while, so I'm going to cancel this, and I'm going to show you the other way that you can also use WinWar. So the other way that you can also use WinBar is simply saying extract files here. So what this will do is just extract everything to the same spot as where the zip file happens to be. The other way that you can also get WinWar to uh, extract files wherever you want is basically by this particular way. Just hit this particular extract files and then it will give you basically a whole bunch of locations that you can send the file. Now of all the ways I find that this is the most difficult way to do it. Um, the reason why is because then you got to dig through files and you got to dig through here and dig through there and it's really tedious just to basically do it this way. But if you also know what the path of the file, you can also copy it and stick it up here for example to send it to where you want it to go as well. So I'm going to end up sending it basically to this location so I'm just going to say extract files here and this is going to take a little while because this is a... Uh, 6 gigabyte file, but once it's done I'll come back and show you how to recompress the file because that's the nice thing about WinWar versus what Windows has You can also compress them right in WinWar as well So I'm going to end up deleting this file right here So you're going to highlight both of these files and you're going to come down to this particular selection right here What I'm going to name this I'm going to name this Mario Kart 8 so this ended up taking a fair bit of time, so I just sped this up, folks. So like that, folks, you can easily see that WinWar is an extremely easy piece of software to use. Uh, one thing that we didn't cover in this video, though, we did not cover on how to encrypt files and add a secret password so your friends can easily open compressed files that you don't want other people to see. In the next video to come, we're going to be showing you guys on how to do that. The other thing that I should probably explain too towards like right now is the reason we didn't enable ISO files through WinWar. One of the reasons we didn't do that because WinWar isn't the best at it and WinWar knows it. In the next videos to come, even after those videos on WinWar, we're going to show you guys on how to get something called Power ISO, which outperforms anything up against it. 
And if you guys liked the video for today, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Let me know if this video was interesting or not. I guess you guys can do that also by the subscribe button. And if you guys want to have easier access other than subscribing to my channel, if you guys want to find easier or other videos that I've done on other topics, write Help Tech 123 in the search bar and every video that I've ever done here on YouTube will come up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today and we'll see you guys in the next one.